Hi everyone, greetings. Welcome to this uh, Started Experts uh, webinar. I'm Alec Fogo. I'm going to be uh, the one presenting the webinar today. Um, be uh, kind over my accent. Uh, I'm uh, French uh, from uh, Montreal, so I'll do the best for this presentation so everybody hears and understand well. So uh, without saying any more, I'll close the web webcam and start the presentation. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. All right, so the webinar today is going to be about uh, what's new in uh, DriveWorks. So uh, DriveWorks held up their uh, annual uh, DriveWorks World this year. Uh, it was uh, last week. Unfortunately, we couldn't be present because, because of the COVID situation, but they held the event anyways, but held it as a web-based event. And we were a lot of people on that event. Um, for those of you who couldn't be there, well, I made a little 20-25 uh, minutes uh, review of uh, the, the what's new on the DriveWorks uh, 18 that is released right now. Um, if uh, you have uh, DriveWorks uh, on maintenance and uh, you want to download it, it's uh, already available. Great. Right? So let's go see how it was uh, subdivided to, uh, this year. There was four major pillars. First one is usability and user experience. The uh, updates in DriveWorks 3D. Design automation and PDM, uh, very major uh, updates in there. And uh, finally, scalability. So we'll take over a look of my favorite ones and describe them a little. And at the end of uh, my review, I'll go to uh, DriveWorks uh, website to see what they did new on it with those updates on some of the, the trial uh, that they have online. So let's start this up and, and see on the number one, usability and user experience, what they added up this year. Oh, so, uh, I uh, uh, underlined some of the my favorite ones in there, and as you can see, um, they made major updates on generation and specification reports. This means that um, we're able now to. Uh, to color code some of the functionality we want in there, so that it's, it's easier to uh, uh, to see where we're going and and, and look at the the, the report finally. Uh, timings uh, have been uh, added uh, in there also because we know that uh, often generating a new specification in SolidWorks, there are uh, some of those parts that. Uh, go pretty fast and, and we need them in milliseconds as well. Um, also what uh, uh, were added in and that I, I like uh, was that now you can have preset and personal filters in your reports uh, and those ones can be modified to filter specific keywords. So instead of uh, trying to uh, uh, scroll down in, in the report now, you can filter with keywords. This will make your life pretty uh, much easier and quicker. Um, in there, there's also being able to save configuration uh, right on the summary screen. So this means I don't need to go down in a, a group or a, a, a specification to uh, make a pack and go. I'll be able to do it right up the summary screen. Uh, emails have been uh, worked uh, also this year, and that that's nice because they had, they added up uh, also uh, the same kind of filters 
to be able to quickly manage through the emails, tag some stuff in there also. Uh, this, this will make life easier on uh, reporting uh, and, and uh, streaming through the uh, emails. Um, and the calculation tables and special variables, well, now at least they've made it so that they can be organized alphabetically. This is a great add up in the uh, work. So now we don't have to scroll down the whole list of special variables. You can just quickly go to the next alphabetical order that you uh, created them. So again, things to make your life easier. Um, they added up some templates in there for the new specification uh, flow. So um, instead of uh, creating from zero, they did add uh, some templates in there. Again, things, things to make the life of the user uh, easier. Um, I'm going to move to the, the next topo, the uh, DriveWorks 3D. You know that DriveWorks 3D is the model that you can create also in a DriveWorks model instead of a SOLIDWORKS model. And we present those to a viewer for the user experience. And they did a lot of work on DriveWorks 3D this year. Um, my favorites here are um, all the animations that they added up inside DriveWorks 3D. So now you have translation, you have animation scale, rotation, a smooth rotate and a smooth translate. And you'll see in the example I'm going to do on the, their DriveWorks uh, site what I mean by smooth translate and uh, translations. Um, also, finally, we are able to add decals to um, our uh, DriveWorks model. Uh, before we couldn't do that, and now we can. So ready for that. Plus, we uh, now have the uh, possibility of HDR and HDRI support. So it makes uh, life easier on the kind of uh, environment settings that you need on the page uh, for your viewer. Also, um, in the vectors, there are so many more vectors now that have been added in the DriveWorks 3D. Makes your 3D control on your model uh, much more efficient and, and a lot easier to manipulate inside a, a viewer. And uh, one last thing in there that I, I find very interesting is that now we can convert in any OBG or GITF uh, documents or STL file into a 3D drive or uh, vice versa. If you want to uh, export your model as an ob object, you'll be able to do it. So great addition in the uh, DriveWorks uh, 3D models. Going on in design automation and PDM, well, um, it was very interesting to see that uh, some of those uh, zoom to fit properties were finally added in the generation task and, and also some of their uh, tools like uh, save image of multiple drawing sheets. Um, sometimes we do have drawing sheets and, and many pages, but we couldn't save them as an image. Now we can do that very easily, so uh, hurry for that. Um, but most of all, I want to speak about PDM. They did a lot of work for the PDM support and integration. I'm very happy that now, once we create a new specification inside the Hiveworks, it can create an empty folder in a PDM vault. So we, we don't have to think about adding up all those empty folders in PDM and trying to ask DriveWorks to put them in, in those folders because now they can create 
the empty folder by, by itself. Um, a lot of uh, functionality with PDM have been added up. Um, also, uh, one that was uh, nice for me to, uh, to have because we use PDM a lot in our company is the check-in command available now when DriveWorks create a new file and archives it in PDM, well, I want to be able to add a comment in there. So if a buyer, a uh, customer uh, creates a new specification, you can add a commentary in there and save it inside my, um, my PDM and archive that. So now I don't have to be an admin to go inside the model, check it out, add the commentary, and then archive again. So less manipulation of my specification. Uh, that's good news, really good news. And finally, um, scalability. Well, scalability for drive work is um, a must because like SOLIDWORKS, you know that there are like uh, five SPs every year of SOLIDWORKS. Well, there are uh, also some SP of DriveWorks. And with DriveWorks World, they try to um, make the same advancement of their software as SOLIDWORKS does. So they're very, very um, user-based updates that are uh, put inside your new uh, driveworks year, year in and year out. So uh, what it means is that every year when we go to driveworks world for us that have the, the luck to go there, well, there's a big whiteboard on the wall and you simply write what is one of the things that you wish that was in the next year's software and that makes advancement on, on many requests sometimes that we, we ask uh, at DriveWorks. And we see them coming in very quickly, the, the, the next uh, version of the software. And scalability is, is that inside DriveWorks. So um, that's what they did through uh, requests and, and stuff like this. They uh, added up some generation and specification reports with uh, color coding, uh, um, having the error count displayed on uh, or on deleted report dialog, so I don't have to go back inside my my uh, group or my project to see where the errors were coming from. There are many things like that, like uh, archive a specification straight from a data management instead of from the project. Why not? Well, now we're able to do that. Um, also, one of the pilot machines that triggered uh, action functions can be adjusted remotely from a driver admin. Oh, so I don't need to go in an autopilot, open that up, and trigger those actions or, or manipulate them from there. Now. Um, so a, a lot of stuff have, have been updated like that by customers' requests, just like you, or var requests like us, because at the end, we're a customer of uh, DriveWorks as well. So what I'd like to do is uh, maybe go on a little uh, hunt of the projects that we can see um, on DriveWorks uh, site and take a look at that. All right, so first example is, look at how nice this view is now with the new possibilities that we have of DriveWorks 3D. Um, this makes it very smooth, very sleek, I like the uh, way that the colors and texture looks and how I can also have the light coming in from the window reflection on the floor. So we are able to create great aspects now inside our DriveWorks um, 
Uh, all my information are in there. So I'll, I'll just um, start it up again so we can uh, see what I mean. Sorry about that. Close it. Here we are. Great. So our responsive uh, forms are, are great. I can also have uh, in-window applications, simply lower down what I don't want to see, manipulate the item very easily like this. So no problem with that. Change my materials, accessories, everything will set up pretty nice, right? And also see the result, what do we need? But with the new um, options that uh, were uh, brought up this year, I can have smooth operation of my models. Did you see those doors opening up very smoothly, closing also? Oh, I can make movements like that in my models, in my Blackboard 3D models now. And, and that's great because my user experience here is enlightened and, and very, very nice. The next one I want to show you is uh, another um, example in DriveWorks to actually see that more tools on the layout have been added up and now it works fantastically good. Um, it's a great option to be able to create layouts and add other stuff in that layout that can be configured because a layout project, you know, can drive other uh, children projects. So I can create a route in there. That route can be transferred very quickly into a conveyor route. I can add some machines, stations. I can uh, have the uh, floor layout also as a project to um, make the design like I want it to be. Um, I can go back and fine tune some of the stuff in there. And last but not least, I can be in the layout now with the VR option. So that is really, really, really nice for me uh, inside the DriveWorks. Other applications inside the DriveWorks? Well, um, uh, it would be the CPQ project for me. Uh, that would be one of the nice uh, applications. So let's go uh, see see that inside the DriveWorks. Place my layout. So, what I'll do is uh, simply go in there and find it again. Um, okay, so let's go back to my point instead. Great. So what I'll do is uh, I'll try to uh, fix my uh, CPQ template so we can uh, see uh, see what I mean um, in a few uh, seconds.
All right, so here we are. So, eight, and we're going to be back. And the, the love of uh, the joy of the uh, direct here. It is how to go that. I'm going to fix uh, this as soon as possible. Oh, there we go. Finally, back on it. All right. So, one of the great options in the CPQ uh, reporting is that we can as an admin uh, manage all the projects as a distributor and having uh, suppliers and all my reform can be um, set up in a way that i can manage them inside of that admin and have a reporting uh, possibilities in there. So quickly what uh, we will see in here is that I have a reporting solution inside that project and this means I can manage see if one project works better than another maybe I, I, I would need to make some uh, uh, rearrangement of that project and stuff like that but like this it means that I can manage all my project from one place and quickly and easily I can add a project, I can delete project, I can add um, users in that project. So this makes a great, great reporting tool and a management tool of my Fireworks uh, project. So don't hesitate to ask our team about those functionalities in Fireworks. Remember, we do um also uh, help in development of your project in Driveworks. So I hope that you liked what you saw. Um, it was a quick uh, overlook of all the uh, what's new inside the uh, DriveWorks 18. Our team is there to help you, is there to answer you. I was uh, happy to uh, show these uh, to you, so thank you. I hope to see you next time and don't hesitate to follow our next webinars that will come up soon. Thanks all. Have a safe way.